One of the first things we learn in an introductory physics class is that in the absence of air resistance, all objects fall under the influence of gravity at the same rate, 9.8 meters per second squared. So we might wish to extend that thinking, imagine that all objects will roll down a ramp at the same rate. Let's check it out. Let's set the sliders so that the blue object is a solid ball with radius five centimeters, and the red object is a metal ring with radius five centimeters. Let's hit play and see what happens. The blue object wins, but that went by very quickly. Let's set the switch to slow and try again. Again, blue ekes out a slim victory. How do we account for that? Well, let's first look at the graph at top right. The two objects have velocity versus time graphs with different slopes. They both accelerated uniformly, just with different acceleration values. Blue was going faster at every point in time. Okay, so let's look at the graph at top left. Before the race, both objects had the same amount of potential energy. Neither had higher mass, and neither started at a higher point. So they each started with the same total energy, and they both started at rest, so they each had no kinetic energy. Wow, both had the same potential energy, yet one of them ended up going faster at the end, and they had the same mass. What differs for the two objects is how much of its kinetic energy was in rotational versus translational form. The total energy of the system at the finish line is the same, but the winner had more translational than rotational energy. Basically, the red object spent too much of its energy budget spinning rather than moving. Well, why would it do that? Well, the ring has the highest rotational inertia of all the objects in our list. All of its mass is located far from its center. The ball has more mass located near the center, and so it has a lower rotational inertia. So more of the initial potential energy is used up, getting the ring rolling without slipping. You might think, then, that if you just made the red ring smaller, just two centimeters in diameter, it would have a much lower rotational inertia, and therefore it would win. Let's try it. Surprise, the blue sphere still won. Two things happened when we made the red ring smaller. One was that we lowered its rotational inertia, but the other is we lowered the moment arm of the torque acting on the ring that causes it to accelerate. These two effects cancel for an object that is rolling without slipping. So shape alone determines the winner, not size or mass, just the distribution of these. Isn't that amazing? So play around with different shapes and sizes and try to predict in advance who will win. Thank you for watching.